Hey guys, it's Ellen here and today we're working on an abstract poppy field landscape. I go over everything step by step, super easy for any beginner. I decided to do an abstract because it's fun to play with the wet and wet technique, using a scraping technique with a credit card, you know, spraying paint, moving paint, just getting used to this kind of fun, loose style, just trying something new. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification, please do so. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, live stream on the top tier. It's just a place people can go and support my channel, which I appreciate so much. You can check it out right up here. And yeah, just a little extra thing. So without further ado, let's get painting. All right, guys, for this tutorial, I'll go over my supplies. I have a nine by 12 piece of Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Uh, I just taped it down with some Scotch Magic tape onto a thick piece of cardboard so I can lift it up, you know, and just hold it down into place. Um, I'll be using like this one inch craft brush, just simple brush. You can get a little bit bigger too, make a nice hack brush. Um, uh, we can play around with either a credit card or you can just use a piece of, you know, leftover thick cardstock. I'm using a different palette today. This is like a, a enamel pan, you know, so you can get a, like a wider color going here and then use this, use these tools to scrape the color and put it on the paper. Use these spray bottles. You get these pretty cheaply at any kind of craft store, Amazon, whatever. And maybe play around with some brushes. I'll probably use my Princeton eight long round. Um, I have a new color. That's why I decided to try playing. When you have new paints and new colors and new things, do some abstract. It's like it helps you just get used to the color and looseness of it. Um, cadmium red deep. I decided instead of making red, let's just buy a red. What the hell? <laughs> in the pan, I have cadmium yellow deep, um, neutral tint, Prussian blue, and uh, ultramarine blue. And let's see what we can come up with. So to start, you have to decide if you're going to do an abstract, like you know, landscape. Do you want it half and half? Like, you know, the land on the bottom, the sky on top. Do you want it three quarters of the way down? You know, and just the sky this much, you know. Um, this I would do a bigger piece, but like just to, for purposes that you, so you can see better, I'm doing a smaller piece. I kind of sometimes like the three fourths down as the land and the less as the sky, but that's just a preference and you can make it on an angle. You can make it straight across. Don't get bogged down with like how it should be. I want you to play around with that. You know, like I said, you can divide it. You have this land mass being down here. Oh, and I didn't mention that I was gonna use some gouache because I like to splatter in some gouache. Put that down here, white gouache. Um, and the land mass. It just creates this like effect where it sort of separates because it's got some chalk in it to the paint. You can also try using some acrylic uh, inks. I have one here. You can try using some alcohol um, to splatter it. You know, it separates it. Different things. So let's just have fun. Oh, got some pigment or something on my paper. I'm going to grab my big brush, whatever big brush we have. I even have a mop brush here. Um, I like the ones with this, you know, the squared off edge. We're not going to, I'm going to do three quarters of the way down. So I'm going to just paint across this area that I know I want for my sky. And I'm gonna leave a white, kind of like white space in between the sky area. Just getting this all wet here. And my land. So it's like a little white space. I wanna leave some white space in there. And I'm just gonna go down here, paint all this with water. I have my water jars. I have paper towels close by. Sorry, I didn't mention that. I have paper towels. Oh, there's some pigment on there. See what happens. There was pigment on there. Didn't realize. I don't know how that got there, but that's okay. We'll play around with it. Um, so I have paper towels, or you could use a towel close by. And this is a little too wet. I'll just take off some of this wetness. So you can see the sheen where the water is. So now we're going to just mix up some color. Uh, the sky, I'm going to take my credit card. I've got, like I said, the ultramarine blue here. I'm just using it like this. Prussian blue. And I have neutral tint here. 
and then for the um, obviously the, the grass area I'm gonna grab my cat and yellow deep and I'll grab a Prussian blue with that get a nice green in here right I do want to maybe try and do like a half let me lift half of this card See, I'm wiping off the other half that's top half would be blue one half would be green let's see what we got let's see what happens there's too much green in that we could try and scrape the part see I'm playing the scraping technique so now I'm just go back in here and scrape oh got some green on there so I'm going to take the green off go back with the blue just going to scrape it onto this paper you need a good paper to do this kind of technique though because it will not do well it's okay if there's a little green in there and then I'll take I'll wipe off my card and I'll grab some green with some yellow on this section Maybe throw in a little red. Why not? Now, see, it kind of dried. I didn't want to do that, but we can take our spray bottle. Let's see what happens. I'm already playing with the spray bottle. Right? We want this to bleed. I'm going to put some red pigment in there. Ooh! I might go in, take my card, and grab that red pigment. Just really, I'm playing here. I'm not doing anything particular and going back and grab some green just an old credit card make some lines going like this just get some action some movement look at that I'm already loving that <laughs> I know I'm getting excited and when it pulls down here you just you know lift it up the paper towel and just go like that you can spray again here watch it bleed and if you want to add my paper towel fell on the ground, a little blue, a little blue out here. Don't be afraid. Now I'm going to get real messy. And that's what we need to do. See, this is just the fun stuff. And again, pick up the puddle here on the bottom. I'm just going to go back in. I'm just using the card here for now. Grab some more yellow. I'm, I'm liking the red, but I want the red to bleed more. So it just looks like a square thing there. Oh yeah, there we go. And you can take your card, manipulate the paint. See, I'm pushing it all the way this way. I'm going, I've decided I've just kind of going like this to the right. Grab some blue. This is playing guys. Okay. A better set up so you could see this better but now we're going to flip it and we'll do this blue sky i can go back in and grab my flat wash brush oh it has green on it <laughs> don't you love when i make a mistake it's so much fun and then grab my blue blue paints that i had over here and kind of just bleed those now again you can take the spray bottle and hit those colors Play around with them, moving around. Woohoo! Grab some ultramarine. I'm just gonna wish that in there. Whoosh! And some of that darker color. Playing, I'm manipulating it. See, I'm just taking that paint and I'm moving it closer to the edge here. Going up in here. Grabbing some of that neutral tint. Ooh! We want to play, guys. Play, play, play every day. And I'm going to bleed this paint up here. I see I'm leaning it up this way. Grabbing some water. I'm going to bleed this way. And grab some more paint and bleed this way. This is uh, ultramarine. I'm going to leave that white area there. I might actually throw a little yellow in there. If I lost my towel. <laughs> grab a little yellow. Let's see what we got there. See, I just put that little yellow dot there. Clean off my brush. Add a little water to that. Mm. Let's see what we got. Again, it's puddling, so take a paper towel. I keep dropping it. I don't know why. I'll just scrape that. 
Let's flip it back. Kind of cool, right? Now we seem to have like a straight line going here. I don't know why, but maybe because I scraped it that way. Again, we can take the scraping tool, getting the green and yellow out of there. Grab those blues and scrape in some angry, like, I don't think it's angry. I call it expressionistic. See? This looks more of expressionistic. Yeah. And now, while that's so wet, there's that white gouache. All right, I'm gonna just get that really loose. The bigger brush. I have, um, are you gonna use my Princeton 12? And you know, you can just either tap it or splatter it. But I'm not gonna splatter it because I want to, I want it strategically to go places. Let's see what happens. It's kind of doing the spider thing. All right? Put it around by the yellow dot. I'm playing guys, and I think you should play too. Ooh, kind of mysterious. It's not here. Just move the, hold the paper like sideways like this and bring it back down. You can even do a bigger one. Let's see what happens. We're playing with the color here. Manipulating that color. Go back in here and add some more. And just take some wet gouache. It's really kind of bleeding down. I can clean it off my brush. Just grab some water. Just kind of really get it wet. Just playing with moving it around. I can go back in and add some color if I want to. If you feel like you want to make some clouds in there, I always like to do it with a brush as opposed to um, you know, just taking out paper towel. But you want the paper towel close by, you're kind of lifting the paint and tapping it on the paper towel. Getting lighter in the sky. See, a little more natural. I'm removing some of this paint out here. Just wanted a little more funky. I don't like how it's going here, so, you know, go play around with adding some color back in here. Maybe I felt like it was looking like the, the winter skies, you know? And maybe I'll go back in and scrape out some of the color. Right? You could even take a paper towel, like I said, and remove, maybe go like this. Don't get too crazy. I got some red in there. Just different things to try. And you got all these textures going in here that are kind of fun. I still have a big blob of red paint right there, which is fine. So from here, you have to figure out trees, not trees, flowers, plants. I'm kind of liking this craziness going on. I might add, go back in and add some deeper blues again and blacks. I have that neutral tint and the Prussian blue. Just kind of wet that back in here a little bit. Don't want to get too crazy. I'm liking the red. So the green. I'm going to mix up some of the green that I mixed. So that was just like Prussian blue. Oh, that's neutral tint. <laughs> I'm move this guy's make a mess. Prussian blue and yellow make a nice green. So grab some of my yellow. In this pan, it's like all going to be a nice mess. Prussian blue is over here. That was neutral tint. 
We have a nice green. We can add a little nitro tint to it. Make it even deeper. Impression blue. Cleaning off my brush. So we've got the screen going here. You can go back in with the credit card again, like hold it on its side, and we can just make like again these marks with it. You can do grasses. Go back and raise the color. It's still kind of damp, so it's bleeding up in this area. But don't be afraid. I'm grabbing some yellow. I might have to put some more yellow paint down. So you can start to see some kind of like front grasses happening here. And then we can take some of that red, maybe make some blooms. And you've got the yellow mixed in with the green. really expressive you don't think you could paint watercolor using cards or or anything see I have a credit card an old credit card it's not, I guess a loft <laughs> something like that I can do some more mar marks out this way doing some dry brush with this over here Um, you know, I want you to explore painting. The abstract is just something fun to do. Now, if you're done with that, you feel like, ugh, okay, it's a little too weird, Ellen. I don't want to deal with that. I want to deal with painting. I'm going to grab my Princeton 8 Long Round. This is still very damp. We can make browns with all these colors. I didn't have that many colors today. I had uh, five, okay? I could just use, I didn't even need probably the neutral tint, but... I use it anyway. Go back in and take some of the yellow things. I love the pans because they just kind of all mix together and that's the beautiful part. And you just go in here and grab some of this color with the this is the Princeton eight long round. Look how dirty I got. Do some nice little grasses. You can go in here and do some actual leaves. Still damp, so you're not gonna get you're gonna get this bleeding effect. Down here you won't. So here you can get some nice. You can add some of this Prussian blue and the yellow, uh, red. Get more of a brown and the neutral tint. You're having your eye gravitate towards when you're thinking of color, composition, style. Your eye is obviously gravitating towards here, but then you want to kind of move it around the painting, right? Um, that's what makes a really good competition, co composition is that you have the eye moving, I'm adding some Prussian blue up over here, um, moving around the painting. So look, not looking in one, just, just one spot. I grab some red. You can just use this like almost right out of the tube like that. I'm going to my brush. Grabbing this red. I'm really liking the red. And I can mix it with the yellow. Right. Some dry brush right out here. We can just make some simple like poppies. And I'm just gonna be holding it on an angle. Let's just play around that. See? Just right out of the tube. Just simple little poppies. Now, we can spray bottle it and make it kind of bleed a little bit because see, it's very dry with concentrated color. Make a little bit bigger ones kind of in the front. And you see how I'm just kind of taking the brush, lifting it up so you can see better. Kind of just going like this on its side. Wah, wah. Kind of like picture yourself going like this. They would be bigger kind of in the front and tinier going the back perspective just making these little marks and you have these really cute little poppies it's all about play guys see what's making your eye go up towards this red area here 
right? Little dots at this point, up this way. Kind of cool, right? Now, you might not like abstract, and that's fine. But I want everybody else to play with color and wet on wet and just the technique of just playing with scraping tools and whatnot. Now I'm going to clean up my brush and I'll grab some, make some brown. So I've got the red and the neutral tint. And I had that yellow with the green. So mixing it all up in this nice little enamel tin. You want to put a real poppy, you can take some of the neutral tint, kind of make a little line in the middle, a little circle. See? Abstract poppies. I'm adding some more of this. I have to wet this down. It's a little dry. See? Just kind of wiggling my brush, getting these black marks more intense. And again, your eye will gravitate here. It definitely gravitates towards here, but then it's coming down here too. And have this like nice space in here. It kind of gives you the break in your head. I do feel like it needs something. Not here, just a little off the corner here. So I might take some of these colors here, just kind of wisp some grass like that. See how I just kind of wiggled like that? And then kind of went out like this again. I am playing with your eye. Where is your eye going to go? Take some of these black browns, kind of wisping it out here. Making some more marks, squiggle marks with the black. Some more grasses with this neutral tint. It's just the tip of the brush. It's very, very pointy. I'm just going like this. This is the neutral tint. Seriously. That's all I did. Now, at this point, you can go and grab, I'm going to grab a little bit more bright yellow. My, my palette's gotten a little messy. Go over here. I want a more I want to have a little more break with the yellow. A little more brightness. I'm gonna add some bright right out of the tube. Just up in this area here. That's a preference thing. You guys don't need to do that. See, it's right out of the tube. It's dry brush. Just kind of pushing the paint around a little bit. I'm getting pretty close. You could have added some more, um, if you added salt, sprinkled some salt over here, it's going to do something to the sky. Now, I remember I said, just spray, let's see what happens. Let's see. Just a little, little spray. Moving that paint around a little bit. Yeah, and the poppy's got a little mushy, a little too mushy, so I might go in and just grab some paint up. All these things you can do. See, I'm lifting it, and it's got that movement of my, just moving my arm like that. Now you could put trees in and whatnot, but I think just like a field, you know, this abstract, like stormy kind of poppy field. And like I said, you might not like this. It might not be a cup of tea, you know, but it's just ways to give you ideas for if you're just kind of like, what do I do? If it's still damp, you can kind of scrape some color off too. It's always fun. Got a little of my yellow in there. I could just maneuver that. And lift it up, paper towel. 
Again, I'm going to lift up some more paint up here. I feel like it's too colorful. I'm playing around with just, just a little touch. And my paper towel is full of color, so it's kind of everywhere. <laughs> Don't you love when I make mistakes? Yeah, I'm going to lift that up now with a clean paper towel. Yeah, I feel like the sky right there just needed to be lifted up a little more. So what I do is just grab some more water in the areas that I want lifted. Much better. All right, I'm cleaning the edges. And this is our little abstract for the day. I mean, like I said, I don't know if people will appreciate this or even care about it, but I do. I love to play. I'm going to grab some water off here. Just feel like it needs it. Yeah. Stormy sky, poppy field. So let's lift up our paper. Now, people ask all the time, it might buckle a little bit. So after it dries, if it's still buckled, you can just flip your paper over and iron it with an actual iron. Yep. I'll obviously put something on top so that you don't get, but you can iron it dry. And the steam to go flat. But isn't that pretty? A little atmospheric, you know, abstract watercolor. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys are playing, you know, using the techniques, using the credit card. You can make little buildings with these smaller ones. You know, you could actually seriously take look at the yellow and the red and the brown, make a little brown building. And I'm not going to, if you do a small one, small piece, you can make a little building like over here. Yep, you could. Make a little building <laughs> with the roof and all that fun stuff. Play around, guys. That's what it's all about. Enjoying, having fun. This, you know, this this world is kind of chaotic, so let's make it more fun. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Explore, play around. I know some people might not feel like they want to play with this paper, but actually this is the paper you need to use the wet and wet with. The sheet paper will not hold the water well, the paints well, all that nonsense. So, this, you know, if you wanted to try abstract you should use the really good paper so take care guys and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button if you haven't already and i will speak to you soon